Get out, you're late. Mom, not here. Don't drop me here. Michelle, why the hell not? Because in this hole of a town where I have no friends, We've only been here a everyone month. drives pickups. Not hundred-year-old Camrys. What about Claire? She's a friend. <sighs> Hardly. She's a bigger loser than me. Why'd we have to come here? Your dad's new job. He's not my dad. Fine, your stepdad's new job. I want to go home. This is home. Stop being what? a... Bitch. Takes one to know one. Get out. Now. Now! Mom, I'm so... Hey. Olivia. Hey sis, just checking in. Are you all settled in now? Michelle is driving me crazy. Was I that bad when I was 14? Don't answer that. Renee, close the door, I'm freezing. I'm boiling. Let me guess. Noodles again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. All better? Good. And tomorrow night, Chef Anthony. At your service. <laughs> Don't let me fall asleep. Noodles again? Yes, I burnt dinner. Again. Your mother thinks I'm a god. Burnt offerings. You want to give a hand cooking? Your help will be gratefully accepted. Oh, especially you, princess. I help. Renee never does. Because I'm smarter than you. I got an A plus for my essay on Robert Frost, Fire and Ice. Ms. LaFlum read it out loud. That's great. But how's math? I do something good and you have to make me feel like crap. Nice. Michelle, that's enough. Math will take you a lot further than some damn poem. My degree... Your degree took us really far. Like here, the middle of nowhere. Renee loves math and now she's looking at geothermal engineering. You should look a bit pale, you okay? She always looks like death. I'm fine. Really?
God. Mish. What? What? I fell asleep under your UV lamp. The timer never shut off. It must be broken. <laughs> what? I never... Rose. That's disgusting. You can't go to school like that. I would die. I'll go to that walk-in clinic. You gonna be okay? I asked Claire to pick up your homework. Claire? No, Mom. I'll text you at lunch. I just want to sleep. Who is it? It's Claire. <sighs> Not again. Please, let me in. Come on, it's okay. Open the door. Claire, I told you I can't see you. I have yesterday's homework. Just leave it on the porch, okay? How's Krusty the Clown? <laughs> Very funny. Oh, attitude. Good, you're improving. <laughs> Red. Then magenta, now I'm pink. In fact, funny you should say that. Thank you, Anthony. You are most welcome. Mom. Hmm. Was Dad in a lot of pain? What? Dad? Oh. Michael. I wish I could say that he wasn't. But yes, he was. A lot of pain. stomach and lungs are burnt out inside. We tried to go in with a scope, but there's really nothing we can do. Daddy, I mean an owie. So anyway, major hottie from first class comes to the galley, says, can I have a light? Hmm. Seriously. Olivia, at least open a window. Oh, oh geez, Michelle's home. Put it out. Oh. It's you! How is my favorite lobster ever? <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh. 
You poor thing. Although, all things considered. I am so glad you're here. I missed you so much. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> This is so retro. You look like a movie star. <laughs> Auntie O, why'd you never have kids? Never worked out. Mom said you're never happy with one man anyway. She said you were promiscuous. Huh? Really? Olivia. What is this? Is that you and my dad? Where did you get that? In a box in Mom's closet. Didn't mean to. But, Olivia. Are you my mother? What? Oh, God. No. No. Oh. Jesus, no. But you loved my dad? Tell me the truth, please. I need to know. Wow. Okay. Yes, I loved your dad. And he loved me. But he partied too hard one night and I was out of town. Your mom was there. She got pregnant. He did the right thing and married her. That was that. That's a totally different story from the one I heard before. Sweetie, I would never lie to you. Why don't you go ask your mother? Michelle, is everything okay? No. Okay. You look angry. Olivia, what's going on? What did you say? I need some fresh air. Thanks. Mom, have you always told me the truth about Dad? What do you mean, of course? Olivia said Dad, Michael, was in love with her. Is that true? Well, yes, at first, Is everything but... you've told me a lie? No, no, of course not, Michelle. It isn't that simple. Look. What I told you wasn't a lie. It just it wasn't all the truth. He came to love me. Maybe not at first with the passion that he had for Olivia, but that's not all that love is. Love is caring. I hoped he would feel that way for me too. And he tried. He wanted that for us. And he would have adored you. <laughs> You're two peas in a pod. If you hadn't gotten pregnant with Renee, you guys never would have married. You wouldn't have had me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sherlock. And even though you can be such a teenager, <laughs> don't you think it's possible that I might love you, just a little bit. Mm. <laughs> what the hell's going on? You come back with a load of firewood and there's Olivia stomping away. Dad, Dad, could you make a fire? Yes.
yourself by the fire So much warmer beside me So much warmer and drier The tempest, the storms, the wind and the weather Can blow us apart or bring us together Don't worry, you can leave here anytime You don't have to go I'm in from the cold I said to her and it's nice by the fire yes it's warmer beside you I can't stay here forever